All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get started. Let me check out my channels here. We're super excited that you're here. I'm going to keep myself pinned, making sure. There we go. That's probably sounding a lot better, Mr. S Mr. Sturmer. Okay, awesome. That's why. I uh, hope that you enjoyed the music. This is a Champion Circle production. We are going to be teaching, training, workshopping, and also discussing tonight about chat GBT. And just a little bit of housekeeping. This is a recorded program. It will be launched on our YouTube channel. It'll be available through our podcast, and it will also be available um, in a few other places. And so if you would like to remain off camera while you're sitting here in the gallery. We don't blame you and we understand your privacy needs and wants. Um, also, I prefer to be off camera sometimes because then I can just sit in my PJs, but not today because we are in action, ready to rock and roll. My name is John Kovac Jr. I'm the founder and creator of an organization called Champion Circle Networking Association based so far in our headquartered state of Utah, and uh, we are growing into other states and regions as we speak, looking for members who are interested in the personal development journey associated with their growth as a business owner. We have programs from accountability coaching to one-on-one -on -one intensive executive coaching and so many other things, but we also like to get together. We like to play as adults, just hang out, have a good time and do a lot of great stuff. Today's uh, uh, session is going to be covering topics of chat GPT and a few automation tools, AI generated automation tools, and how to use them to grow your business. I have brought um, executive producer and executive member Ian Sturmer on board to share a few of his thoughts and ideas as well. And you'll get to see him in just a little bit, but we're excited that you're all here. We're excited that you're here to learn, and I want to invite you to do two things right now. First, I do want you to grab a pencil and paper or however you like to take notes, but I don't want you to feel like you have to write everything down because I like to reward people who show up early and on time. And as a result of that, I'm going to pull up being here in person today. I'm going to drop you a huge nugget of awesomeness. And it is going to be loading in the chat section for just a few minutes. And it'll take a few seconds to load. But once you see it there, you're going to see an AI tools PDF. This is a sheet that I'm going to be referencing tonight, and it's something that I've put together after extensive research, and I've just found some creative tools to help you along this journey. Because again, I want you to take notes tonight, but I don't want you to feel overwhelmed because let me tell you, <clears throat> I have listed 65 AI tools and processes and prompts and so many other things that you can do to use this to your benefit and grow your business. So again, I wanted to reward those who showed up on time. If you're watching this recording down the road, you're going to have to reach out to us. You're going to have to send me an email. I know, scary. Send an email to team at mychampioncircle.com. And in the uh, subject line, write chat GBT exclamation point. <laughs> and if you do that, I promise to share this tool with you as well later. But it won't be as cool because it's cooler when you're in person. All right. Let's get on with this because there's so much to cover and a lot to talk about. By the way, this is an open forum, so I will be asking for participation in the chat section. If you are live listening in and you would like to participate in the chat, please take a moment now and say hello in the chat and I'll make sure I know that you're here so that you can get into the habit of sharing things. Okay, so number one, get your writing tools out, but don't feel prompted to write everything down. I've got it all for you. But the second thing I want you to do is to prepare yourself to take it all in, right? Because I want today, if anything else, I want you to walk away from this experience having a fundamental knowledge on chat GPT, as well as AI tools so that you can use them to improve your life, your business, your habits, and anything else. It will be easy to be overwhelmed if you let it, but don't let it. Just calm down, um, 
enjoy the experience and let us take you for a ride because these are pretty cool tools. And at the end of this, we'll open it up for Q&A and some suggestions and comments because I'm sure many of you will want to learn more about these and you'll want to see examples and see them in action. And that's what I'm here for. And that's what we're super excited to teach you. Last plug and let's dive in. Champion Circle Networking Association. Check it out. Go to mychampioncircle.com. Our LinkedIn newsletter is on fire. Okay, so you want to go check out our LinkedIn newsletter. Subscribe there. Learn more about us. Join one of our events. Come to learn more because we are a community of achievers. And these people are business owners from all over the world looking how to grow and build their business. Okay, enough with the commercials. Let's get on with it. Let's talk first, guys. What? Oh, and I want to say hello to the chat section. Super great you're here. Hello, fellow champions. What is chat GPT? And let me just put in the chat here section so you guys can see. It is called chat G as in Gary, P is in playful, and T is in Tommy. All right, so that's what it is. Chat GPT. Some people say GBT, CCB, um, TCBY, which is my favorite yogurt in the world because it's frozen. You know, so many good treats there. All right. What is chat GPT? Where did it come from? Where is it originating from? And to be honest, I don't know. It is an AI, it is an AI generated tool, um, but created by software developers who are, are plugging into the interwebs, AKA they're plugging into the internet. They're using this tool to scrub the internet, to scrub social and free accounts and things that have been published by others. It cannot exist without the creation of humans. Humans are those who created it. Though I do know that the foundations of this AI tool are from the hands of Elon Musk and a couple of his friends and partners over at Google who decided that it was time to unleash the robot massacre. No, I'm just kidding. To unleash things that are going to help us and give us automation in our life. So the invitation, someone said, thank you so much. So why is it all the buzz and rave right now? It's because people like yourself, business owners, marketers, salespeople, consultants, uh, people in their practitioner, lawyers, they're using these tools to automate things that, that will save them time, improve their systems and operations and so much more. You're probably wondering, well, where do I start? Do I go to chatgpt.com? And I'll give you a few steps that I have used in order to get this thing going. On the chat section, I'm going to post or type um, where I would first start. But I want you guys to get an understanding of this. So HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash uh, <laughs> www.openai.com. OpenAI is a great place to start. Because OpenAI is a place where ChatGPT works in congruence with content, context, and text generation. It is a free tool. You do not have to pay. You can always subscribe and upgrade and increase the abilities to reach more, but it is a free tool for the public. But before I jump in and show you and share my screen and we get into all of that, let me pull up my resource here. I just want to share with you guys something really cool. because. Uh, artificial intelligence has revolutionized the way we live. It's revolutionized the way we work and interact with the world around us. Um, we'll be discussing today the best AI tools and resources available today, including a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use ChatGPT. Yes, I'm reading from a ChatGPT script because I want to be precise. But ChatGPT is a state-of-the-art artificial intelligence tool that utilizes the chat GBT 3.5 architecture to generate human-like text. Let me repeat that. It is an architecture to generate human-like text. It can be used for a variety of tasks, including email and text creation, content, scripts, outlines, articles, essays, writing content for landing pages and website copy, and so much more. Let me give you a brief introduction to chat. GPT as it is 
noticeable today. And also, I just want to recognize that we're going to be covering a few other really cool tools that many of you have probably never heard of. Or you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that that was a thing and that you're going to be going mind blown. I wish we could do Ian the uh, the truth bomb here because there's going to be a lot of really cool things today. But let me share my screen and give you guys an introduction to chat GBT. Three, two, <laughs> so here you guys go. This is an example of chat GPT and something to just take note. I have been using this thoroughly in so many ways, but as you can tell, it's a pretty simple website. You just go to chat.openai.com and you'll sign up, you'll give it your email, you do that stuff, but you sign up, it's free and you can always upgrade to plus as it says down here. But one thing I want you to take notice is that this is very simple. There are examples that you can search from, its capabilities, and there are limitations, which I want to cover. May occasionally generate incorrect information. If you're asking GBT stuff like you could use on Google, like who is the greatest president of all time, and it says Adolf Hitler, well, first of all, that's wrong because he wasn't a president, he was a dictator. And number two, it has nothing to do with the United States of America. So just know that there are certain things that might be incorrect. You always, always, always want to fact check anything that you get from this website, okay? You make sure that you get pro probable resources. But I'm going to teach you today, if you use the right prompts and you speak the language of chat GPT, you will be able to command it to do things that will allow you to focus on and retrieve information that is accurate, that is correct, and that will give you what you're looking for. Okay. Also, you may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content. There have been a few attempts in this world, crazy people who have used ChatGBT to try to launch a AI revolution to overtake humankind. I know it's scary, but I promise you it was shut down as soon as it got to Twitter because there are humans in charge of this whole thing. So I don't want to scare anybody. And last but not least, but take a look at this limitation. It is limited knowledge of the world events after 2021. So if you're looking for relevant events, um, it's going to take a little bit more effort, a little bit more digging, better prompts, and so much more. Okay. Capabilities, remembers what users said. As you can tell, I have a ton of stuff that I've done over here and I've played around with some ideas. It allows users to provide follow-up corrections. So if I type something, and I'm gonna give you a few examples here, you can see in the uh, examples how it will be, how I can correct it or regenerate prompts and so much more. And then last is you can be it to train, it's trained to decline inappropriate requests. So if you're asking, how can I, um, how can I woo my spouse tonight? It's not going to give you that great of options and it may decline the inappropriate response. It's a pretty smart tool. Okay. So there you go. Um, and uh, uh, last but not least is there's plenty of examples to choose from. But I just want to give you an example of a good versus bad prompt, okay? Um, they say that you, uh, if you give chat GBT crappy uh, prompts, you will get crappy results. But if you give it intelligent and good prompts, it will give you great results. Now, I won't dive too deep into that just yet, but I just want to give you a few examples. We'll run through some resources. We'll teach you some things. I'm going to pass it over to Ian in a little bit, and he's going to show us some other resources. We'll dive back into some more, and then we'll take some questions. But let's just say that I am interested in writing an article for a, a newsletter. Okay. I've been doing that a lot lately. So I'm going to give chat GBT a command. I'm going to say chat GPT. I like addressing it by its name just because it is robot. It needs to know who we're talking to. All right. And I'm going to say, act as if you are a writer for Forbes magazine. Hey, there you go. You will, uh, here, first of all, let's give it some accolades. Let's say um, you've been the headliner um, uh, journalist. There we go. Journalist for several 
years. Please write a newsletter article that includes the importance of chat G G B T P T safety safety there you go oops safety <laughs> while generating content for newsletters all right include resources that help you give your articles a human taste or let's go a human feel and doesn't plagiarize let me see if i know how to spell plagiarize plagiarize there you go plagiarize i think that's right anyone else's content all right that's a long response how many of you ever have put that in a google chat or search in your life i don't think we ever have but I promise you the one thing people get wrong, I mean, on Google, you'll be able to find anything as long as you know how to search for it, but it might take you a while. When you learn how to speak Google, you can get exactly what you want. Same thing with chat GPT. It's particularly just a language. So I'm going to press enter here and it's going to give me a fairly decent response. As you see, it is generating a response. And we can sort of breeze through this. Now, this is a decent response because I gave it some good outlines and some great information. It's going to give me a lot more than I expected. Look at it, it's still writing. To ensure the safety of chat GPT while generating content for newsletters, it has a bunch of great information. Now, I'm always going to want to fact check. I'm always going to want to go through this and see if it's my own voice. And that's something that I can do up here. I could regenerate this um, and I could retype my, my prompt up here and I could just basically, cue. but I could say, maybe you're not act as a writer of Forbes magazine. Maybe I could say act as a number one best-selling author, John Kovach Jr., author of the book, 13 Steps to Riches, the principles of David and Goliath, and um, also in the book, the book of influence. That's right. It will scrub the internet and look for examples of my writing and my voice, and it will be able to find similar writing styles and approach it. But again, at the end of the day, I'm going to want to ch fact check this. I'm going to want to go through it. This is not a paste, copy and paste, all ready product. This is just something that I would use. Okay. Pretty powerful. But this is the kind of thing that you're going to want to use for not just writing articles. You may want to use this for something cool like let me uh, pop open my notes for a second here. All right. You may want to use this for, let's see, where did I put that? Oops, it's not what I wanted. Boom and boom, boom. Okay. Yeah. You may want to use this for, you know, things like um, email and text creation. You might want to use it for content and writing scripts or outlines. Um, I helped someone the other day write a resume and a cover letter. Not that they need to write cover letters because I think those are so outdated, but you're able to write things and then fill in the blanks. Um, you can write scripts. If you're a sales, if you want to write a sales script, or if you want to write a, um, a proposal, okay, you can come up with stuff. Articles and essays, we just came up with an idea. You can write content for landing pages and website copy that you could use to generate and attract more people through SEO search. I know I'm throwing out a bunch of jargon here. You can actually have ChatGBT create social media posts and create the content for that. You can have it write fiction novels. <laughs> um, you can get as creative as you want. And I'll show you some cool tools in just a little bit that explain that. Um, you can have it write marketing copy for your marketing posts on social media, for your advertisements, for Google ads, Facebook ads, and so much more. You can have it write SEO keywords specific to your in industry, your business, and more. You can have it translate languages. Guys, ChatGBT can translate languages. I know you can type stuff into Google too. I found it to be 
proficiently accurate, but not completely accurate. I remember telling somebody to say this in German and it was completely off. So don't recommend it, but it's on the rise. It's a developing software and you can do stuff like creating. And this is something I'm really interested in. And then I'll uh, sort of move on with the subject is that you can use chat GPT to even create your own personal assistant. And um, I've been testing these tools and so much more. Now, again, if you're just jumping into this, we've already gone over the rules, the expectations, the things you might want to learn more about ChatGBT, but also just recognize that these are helpful tools. These are not your end-all, be-all solutions, okay? You are still a human. You represent your business. There are, cert there are certain things you need to do, and you can't rely on these things to do it all for you, but you can program to do a whole heck of a lot for you. So there are some examples and some ideas of what chat GBT can do. Now, again, this is just a brief overview. I want you to know that we want to give you just some context and insight. But let's just say, for example, that I didn't like that response, or I, I thought this was great, but this is just a little not my taste. So one of the recommendations I share is like always copy your work. And then what you can do is you can edit it, right? I want to say, you know, act as if you are, um, here, let's do this. That was, a, that was a decent example. Let's give ourselves a bad example, okay? Write an article about how students are getting caught using chat GPT for their college essays. Okay, this is not a great response. This is just a simple response or a simple prompt that's gonna make him think here. He's looking for it, okay? All right, something went wrong. Check that out. If issues persist, please contact through the help center. So again, it wasn't a great response and you might get that if you try something new. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna try and ref fresh here and just regenerate it and see if it'll come up. All right. So I regenerated a response. It's going to say, okay, give me some more information. It's going to quickly type out maybe something that's done for somebody else. Talking about plagiarism, the use of chat GBT. Wow. There's a lot of information, but it's really quickly pumping stuff out. Oh, we're going further. And so what I want to share with you is that it might, oh, here we go. Yeah, that was much better. Um, I got to let it know and give it feedback. But what it might have done is it might have continued on from my prompt here and still taking on the, the uh, role of a Forbes magazine writer and continue to write here. But if I did something just as plain and simple as this from the get-go, write an essay, right? Then I would uh, not have generated something great. But if I read through this, I mean, if you guys can hear this or anything. As the use of artificial intelligence AI continues to rise in various industries, including education, concerns about academic integrity have also come to the forefront. Recent reports have shed light on the concerning trend. Students using ChatGPT, a student's education and future. Cool. So I just had Siri read this for me, this paragraph. I don't know if you guys could hear it or not, but oh well. It was, it's decent, but I'd say it's not really that impressive. I would definitely take this to an editor. They go to to um, another uh, artificial intelligence um, uh, what that, um, uh, ch uh, fact checker, plagiarized checker, and spell checker. Um, by the way, we've been using artificial intelligence for a very long time. It's called spell check on Microsoft Word, and you just didn't realize it, but that takes responses and programming and so many other things. So you're not too far off from not knowing anything about chat GBT. But anyways, as far as time goes, I want to just speed things along. And I just wanted to share with you, these are a few things and prompts that you could use. Now, later, I'd like to give you some examples of how this could be used in your own profession, where you might be able to share some things with me. And just stick along with this because you're going to learn a lot. But this is a very, very helpful tool. And I hope you've learned a few things. One thing that I would do, and, and Ian, I'm going to tee you off in just three minutes here. Um, but one thing that I would do is I would copy and paste this 
And I would say, first of all, this doesn't sound like me. This needs some human connection. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go to over to a website that I like called Word AI. <laughs> and this is an artificial intelligence software that actually rewrites articles to not sound like an AI generator. <laughs> it is an AI tool for un-AIing AI generated content. Um, I like this because it gives a different perspective and it's not adding one source. It has a free trial. I paid for it because I think it's super valuable, but then it also has avoid AI detection and you can create some words and phrases and things. But then what I always do, and you guys are just going to learn a little bit about my secrets, is that I will always, always go to my favorite thing in the world, which is one of the most powerful AI login tools. And that is, uh, sorry, um, is Grammarly. And Grammarly is a grammar and spell checking um, checker. And just like the old Pandora, this takes a lot of practice. I work off of Grammarly and Grammarly plugins every single day, and I've trained it to use my own voice in a lot of things. But Grammarly is a great way for you to get a second opinion on what it is that you're writing and typing and creating. And it also allows you to add your editing tools like this feature you see right here. Yeah, it allows me to find errors, to make it more my voice, and also to clean it up because essentially that's what it comes from. So AI is not perfect in and of any sense, but it allows you to uh, generate stuff. And just think about this, guys. Most of you spend so much brain power thinking about what to write rather than doing that just research some great prompts, generate some great content, use some other resources to help you clean it up, and then go in and find an editing tool that will allow you to really add your context, your voice. And by then you've halved or even like fractioned your time spent doing a task to give yourself, to give yourself more time to generate more stuff. So again, just to repeat this, I just wanted to uh, ex really focus on the fact that chat GBT automation AI should be used to help you. These are plugins that I use on a daily basis, and I'll show you a ton more in just a little bit, but I'm going to pass it over to my friend Ian, who has another source of uh, AI generation tools for content. And at the, again, at the basic level, Ian, I'll give you the ability to uh, share your screen here. But uh, I'd like to pass it off to Ian, who I I use a lot of Apple products. I use a lot of Apple. What I don't use is Microsoft, Adobe, and other certain software. Yeah, I'm going to tee you off for a couple of suggestions and ideas that you use automation tools and artificial intelligence for creating content. Okay, thank you. So first of all, we all know Skynet. Hopefully. Okay, go back and watch the Terminator. Skynet's the AI system that destroys humanity. Explain what Skynet is. Yeah, explain what Skynet is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you've seen the Terminator, that's Skynet becomes sentient and a half millisecond later destroys all humanity. Um, so this is the beginning. Yeah, I create out. See, I keep creating things to show on here, and then I have my virtual background, so you can't see. I wrote a big truth bomb on my paper, and it doesn't show up. <laughs> um, okay, so if you're all confused with everything John's just said, um, there's a lot out there. I'm going to simplify a couple of things. Um, and... Okay, Microsoft is the big evil corporation. Um, probably the only things more evil are McDonald's and Disney, but they give us lots of great tools. So an easy way to get into AI and learn about it is to either download the Bing search app or go into Microsoft Edge browser and search in there for Bing. And I'm gonna see if, uh, my screen share is working yet. And okay, can you still hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay, I've had trouble with that one. Um, and my screen didn't share, did it? Okay. There's the Skynet robots taking over the world. Are you seeing my screen share by chance? 
Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. Um, which is good because I'm not. So bear with me as I find my screen. Okay. Um, I typed in a couple of things just into this search bar for Bing. Um, being really simple because uh, I'm a simple person before we get to the complicated things John's doing. So if you ignore my misspelling at the top here, can you plan a three-day trip to Shikoku, Japan? I want to see historical sites. List some historical sites and it recommends a um, three-day itinerary on footnote number two, which is a lot better than when I tried my search engines. Um, Okay, my, I'm gonna kind of run through the things I did before here. A great thing that's coming, and apparently it's not quite here yet from the news article I read, but um, if you love doing Excel formulas in your Excel spreadsheets, um, the AI is coming to that where you'll be able to tell it what you want and it'll actually create the formulas for you. That one's coming. Um, I'm gonna jump down to this one, which was one of my favorites, I deal with insurance. So I said, please write a blog post about the importance of long-term care insurance and retirement planning. Gave me two paragraphs with footnotes, information on the cost of care, the reason we need to look into it. Again, as John said, um, I wouldn't just copy and paste this onto a blog post or onto my website, but it's given me relevant information right up front and a good foundation, a good um, outline for what I can do. And, okay. Um, sorry, I'm working on my whole screen share. The AI is ahead of the uh, natural intelligence, which is what I'm still working on. <laughs> Um, but I, I just wanted to point out the quick thing about um, this AI. Google has theirs called Bard that's going to be coming out soon. And if you love Google and Android, you're going to want to look into that one. Um, the Bing, I find, is a lot simpler to use for simple things that we're doing. Um, if you want a blog post, um, I ask it to summarize my emails. It couldn't do that. Um, but it did send me to the resources, said so check out this app that'll help you summarize it. This one will help you categorize it. Of course, it mentioned Microsoft Outlook that can track all my emails for me. So it still gave me the resources. And I didn't have to do quite as much um, typing as John did. And I'm lazy, so I enjoy that. And the Bing one also has a microphone, so you can just talk to it without having to type anything which is an advantage. But like anything we're dealing with, different tools have different flavors. So while John was typing in his question earlier uh, to write an essay on using ChatGPT or GPT, GPT, TCBY, as a um, pretending you were a, a journalist, I typed the same prompt into Bing to see what would come up. Um, and because I was watching you, I typed it into my phone. Um, so I'm gonna read just a little bit of what Bing said to compare to yours. Um, it says, as a journalist, it is important to prioritize safety while generating content for newsletters. Safety is more than just responding to uncomfortable and or dangerous situations. From the start, journalists should be thinking about the importance of safety, their physical and emotional safety, the safety of their colleagues, the safety of their sources, the safety of their digital data, the safety of their equipment, etc. Journalists can face violence and intimidation for exercising their fundamental right of freedom of expression. I won't read the whole thing there, but a completely different direction that this took, um, which I love just seeing the difference in how it did it, um, where they put the focus. And obviously, if we were writing an article on this, um, only one of our two articles would be appropriate for the newsletter. And I won't make people vote on which one is more appropriate between yours and mine. <laughs> but um, that's where these extra prompts are going to come in. Um, 
So you may look at this and say, well, I actually wanted to talk about copyright infringement, not about people firebombing my house. Um, so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, talk about how you need to be aware of copyright infringement when using artificial intelligence to create an essay. Please write it in the voice of such and such and see how that turn comes out that way. Being brand new at this, this is what excites me the most. Um, later on, I'm going to get into fancy things, but if I can have it write an email for me, if I can have it write a newsletter post, I can have it write the, the text on my website, and then I can go through and personalize it to myself. Um, to me, that's the beginning, and Bing's a great way to start that side of it. Now, at the risk of talking too much, I'm going to give a quick example. A friend of mine who couldn't make it tonight, she just attended a big seminar on ChatGPT and was telling me about what it can do. In this seminar, they started out and they created a company. They had it make a product, virtually at least, set up a website, um, wrote a book, published the book on Amazon, and launched this virtual product. Um, in their first day, entirely with AI. So, I mean, to create a website in one day is pretty good to begin with. Um, to create a website, write a book, publish it, um, and have it on Amazon, have it find a product, write the text about that product that it's going to create, um, and have everything in one day. Was it a great product? Probably not. <laughs> Was it a really interesting book to read? Probably not. <laughs> um, but is it easier to write a book or is it easier to, well, I shouldn't say easier to edit it because maybe it's not easier to edit it. <laughs> um, but is it easier to write it or to take the concept and just kind of make it more your own? Um, if you can get rid of that first part of it, um, no more writer's block. Um, Think of how much that would change it. How often we sat in front of a keyboard saying, I need to write this email to so-and-so. I just don't know how to start it. And even if you change everything that the AI wrote for you, you haven't had to sit down and do that start to it. Now, there's tools out there. Um, you know, Microsoft, one of the things I love is they're integrating everything together. So with Microsoft Office, um, Outlook is all being integrated with this, this Bing AI. Um, their search engine is already integrated with it where you can just ask it things and it'll give you a combination of the AI along with the um, traditional searches, traditional search results. Um, but again, it's going into so many more things. Um, and I'm, I'm jumping back in time just a little bit about what AI can do. Not long ago, before AI came out with everything at once, um, I had to do a PowerPoint presentation. I pulled it up on my laptop beforehand, and there was a button that I need to remember where it was, like practice your PowerPoint. So I clicked on that, I read through my PowerPoint, I did it out loud, and it came up with a, a summary saying, try not to read the actual points on, this, on the PowerPoint slide. <laughs> Put the things in your own words. You're saying, um, a little bit too much. Try to avoid saying filler words like, um. Your pace was pretty good for the speed of your speech. It seemed to match what most people listen to. It already did that. It listened to me and it compared that to the PowerPoint presentation that was on my screen. Uh, that was a wonderful thing. Um, now we're just going uh, actually a big step above that. Um, if you're comfortable in the Microsoft ecosystem, take a look at Bing um, because it's an easy way to do it. If you want to really dip your feet in without getting confused with all this stuff John's talking about, take a look at Bing um, and just see what it can do. And I think you'll quickly want to expand and move into new ideas. Uh, my next one is the Bing image generator where it will create images for me, um, which it turns out I've been using. Um, 
I had a Samsung phone. And if you have this, it's really cool. Point it at the moon, zoom in as far as you can on your Samsung phone and take a picture. You get this beautiful picture of the moon that it turns out is AI generated on your phone. You didn't really take a picture of the moon. <laughs> it took your picture and it combined it with like detailed photos of the moon to give you what looks like a great picture. Um, for me, that's great because I'm not submitting that to photo contests. But um, I'm just kind of leave it at that point that there's different flavors out there. You don't need to learn a whole new system, um, but you can just start, download the Bing app um, for whatever system you use. Um, log in with a Microsoft account, you have to have that. And then just ask it some questions. Um, my first one, which I deleted, sorry, so I can't tell you, is I ask it to write a haiku about boiling eggs. And it did, it was kind of fun. So um, with that, I'm gonna turn it back over to John um, to go through again, some more of the detailed tools and things out there. <laughs> Um, if you want simplified things, reach out to me because I'm a simple person. <laughs> if you want to do a deep dive into it, um, actually, in either case, take a look at these resources uh, that John's providing. Um, I'm excited to dive into those more myself, too. So with that, uh, back to you, John. Yeah, thanks, yeah, Ian. Thanks, and and Ian. I wanted to clarify wanted to a couple clarify quick things. Couple um, things. Uh, maybe uh, just, one just one thing. So if you are an Android, 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 Google, Google, or... or whatever other whatever user, other user. Uh, I'm so apt, uh, so, so I'm glad I'm hearing all of it. Um, um, you just go to bing.com, is that what the original, or you can download, you can download the Bing app, that's the first uh, way, to do um, it. way to do it. Okay, so unfortunately bing.com does not have it integrated yet. Um, you do need to download the specific Bing app on your phone or on your tablet, laptop, whatever. Um, or you can use the Microsoft Edge browser. Um, if you're used to using Chrome or Safari, um, Edge is another browser, which Microsoft claims is faster and safer and all those things, who knows? <laughs> um, but if you download that browser, from there you're able to do the search on Bing, but you do need to log in the same as you would with Apple or Google um, to log into your account to get the actual search results and things in there. Awesome. Thank awesome. you so much, Thank Ian, so for, much that. Ian, for that. I'm going to react by react dropping to the works. The robots are taking over. <laughs> awesome. Well, I, I do want to share a few more examples and then um, go into some cool things here, guys. But the robots are taking over. Anyways, I wanted to share with you a couple, couple of things. So, Ian, thank you so much. And Ian's my expert on anything else other than Apple products, because <laughs> I'm all Apple, I'm all in. I know I sold my soul to the devil or angel or whatever you want to call it. But essentially, I, I, I guess this is still going. Um, I do not know how to stop it. I do not know how to stop this robot revolution. Looks like it's over. Like okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. That's what happens when you get this artificial intelligence. You start it, you can't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Um, just having a little fun here, guys. But before we wrap this up, I want to give you a few more examples, okay? Because whether you're using Chat GPT, Bing, the Microsoft Edge, um, there are so many automation tools that you probably didn't know existed that are right under your fingertips. A couple that I want to show you that are really important. And Ian actually brought this up. And I want to give you an example of some of the things that Ian shared. I'm going to share my screen. And you're going to see my Canva account. Okay. And Canva, I don't know how many of you guys use Canva to create content and to do cool things. I love Canva. And there's some pretty cool tools that you can use in Canva that are AI generations that come free. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys use it. So let me just show you a couple of cool things that I do. So in Canva, you can create a Word document. So you can just actually um, search for creating a document and it'll come up and say doc. All right, cool. And this is really interesting because now, just like you can in Google Docs or um, Microsoft Word, you can create a shareable document with a bunch of features, okay? One of the tools I want you to understand 
really cool with Canva is when I go to add content, I can add magic by pressing plus. Okay. I can increase, I can add logos. I can add cool things. I can embed stuff. I can essentially create anything I want on here, just like I can on Microsoft Word or Google, Google Documents. But at the top of this, there is something called Magic Write. And if I click in Magic Write, okay, I'm going to do, and I did this with William Blake earlier, so I wanted to do this with you, Ian. I'm going to ask you to write a love letter to Ian Sturmer from his secret admirer, okay? And it's going to generate content for me, love letter to Ian Sturmer from a secret admirer. Dear Ian, I hope this letter finds you well. I want to take a moment to express my feelings for you as I have admired you from afar. Uh, I'm going to drop this so that I can see what I'm looking at. Uh, that I've, I've admired you from afar for quite some time now. From your charming smile to your kind heart, you've captured my attention in every way possible. I cannot deny the way my heart skips a beat every time I see you. <laughs> your intelligent sense of humor and the way you carry yourself with confidence is truly admirable. I know we have not spoken much, but I feel a connection that with you that <laughs> cannot ignore i'm writing this letter anonymously because i am too shy to share my feelings in person i hope this letter finds you and brings a smile to your face knowing that someone out there thinks the world of you sincerely your secret admirer okay that's a crazy example but by the way i'll send this to you that's hilarious uh, but now did you actually write this before out of your true feelings and just pretending it's ai Next subject, we're not going to be talking about it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but essentially, guys, you see the power of AI, right? You can generate pretty cool stuff. And obviously, again, there's some things in here that I think it left out. Huge details. You can tell this isn't me. Because knowing Ian, I would have added some of his dad jokes. So obviously we're missing some important information here. But there's just something that you should understand that this is a really cool tool. And this is free if you have Canva. Um, also, something that I think is really cool that Ian brought up earlier is that you can go and, and this is, seems to be the world of AI. What triggered the world of AI was applications, also known as apps. Everything from Zoom now has apps. Uh, you can download apps inside Canva, all right? And you can create various projects here. And I want to just show you a couple that I love um, and things that you can do. Text to image is my new favorite, okay? And right here in this little generation tool, I can say, um, I want to create a, let's just go with, um, you know, Winnie the Pooh working a desk job, okay? And I can ask it to generate an image based off of the text I create. This is text to image, artificial intelligence creation. Let's just see what it comes like. And if I want, I can create and pick a style. Um, let's go with this. I like this dreamlike style. Let's start there and let's try it. So I'm gonna press enter and let's just see what AI can create. Oops, something you typed may result in unsafe or offensive content. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. All right, let's just say. Let's just say um, um, that's the word poo. Yeah exactly. yeah, exactly. Let's just say uh, Yogi Bear working a desk job. Let's try that. Boom. Let's see if that generates something. Okay, it's hard at work transforming those images from your head. Wait with us while we generate Yogi Bear working a desk job. All right, cool. Check this out. So I'm going to add some of these to, um, to my document here. Why not? Because let's have some fun. Oh, I really like this one. This one says, this one says John Kovach Jr. all over it. I love this image. All right. He's there. He's hanging out. He's reading a book. Okay. And uh, AI, you can tell it's a little AI because there's some weirdness going on in that eye right there. And that arm is a little shorter. We don't know where his hand is over here, but you can tell it's AI generated, but pretty dang cool guys. So let's just say you're, um, let's just say you are a, a personal trainer. Okay. And you want to come up with something really cool. Like, like, um, Let's just say your brand is an eagle. 
and you are a trainer and you call yourself the Eagle trainer. So uh, Jim and Eagle training at the gym with turkeys. Ha! <laughs> because everyone's a turkey if you're not an eagle. All right. So again, it's generating hard to work, creating some cool stuff. All right. This is getting ridiculous, guys. I can tell you that this is uh, this is not what you expected when you showed up here today. But check this out. You've got an eagle here at the gym with other eagles. All right. I don't see many turkeys, but uh, I like this image. I think this image is really cool. So there you go. You've got a guy at the gym and you've got this eagle. I don't know what he's standing on, but that's pretty dang awesome. So again, these are some pretty cool images and you can play around with this tool and give it. And again, I'm in a certain style, but I could pick other styles, but this is that text to image generation tool that, that Ian was talking about earlier. And this is just available to you on something as simple as Canva. And I think these tools are amazing and really, really helpful. And uh, I, I would love to um, hold on, let me, uh, do this. Boom. Okay. Perfect. Um, I'd love to share with you guys a few more really cool, uh, tools and resources that are going to help. Now, again, this is the part where I don't want to overwhelm you, but I just want you to see the power of AI. And if you've opened up that PDF that I put into the chat section, you're going to learn that there are some really great tools, just like Bing, just like ChatGBT. So many cool AI tools that you can use to automate your life. I mean, if you're a personal trainer, if you're a content creator, if you're um, running a podcast, if you run a consulting business, these are tools that you can use to create things that maybe no one else is using because I can tell you less than 1% of the world is using, excuse me, is using AI correctly and is using it to generate awesomeness. So again, this is really, really powerful stuff. Um, let me just give you an example. All right, let me open up my uh, PDF here. Guys, I'm just gonna walk you through some suggestions and some ideas on what you can do with chat GBT and a few other automation tools. Um, if you're listening in, you're like, okay, what else can I do? Let me just, just give you a rundown. And I know I'm going to be reading here, but just take a, just bear with me. Obviously I went into Canva and showed you, you can generate content and do some really cool stuff through apps and other stuff, but get munch.com turn long videos into shorts auto GBT does prompts and learns other things for you so that you can be better at chat GBT. Chat, 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 that should be chatbot.io, customer service chatbot, uh, shuffle.dev, building websites and apps with AI for you on autopilot. Uh, virtual stag state uh, virtual staging AI app. This is for realtors. If you have videos or photos of um, of a house you're selling, you can virtually stage the room. AI will generate beds and couches and furniture and plants and books and bookcases and things to make your house look really cool. Um, Agent GBT, Agent GBT dot reworks dot AI runs Chat GBT for you. This is where somebody tried to ruin the world, but don't worry, we shut them down. Um, Notion is a great operation system that has AI features in it. Loom, you can record yourself teaching things and you can use AI to send this to your team and create tutorials in case you just don't want to jump on a call and waste time explaining things to people. MyPipio.com is custom video avatars of yourself. And guys, as you go through this, just look at this. Like there's so many things. I'm not going to read them all. I'm just going to sort of slowly scroll down. You can remove watermarks. You can do things like automatically have fast replies to your tweets and LinkedIn posts. Okay. You can do things like generate photos. Like I showed you uh, through, through the photos app. Okay. Um, you can also do pick story, you know, scripts to video AI video generation. Okay. There are so many cool things. Um, designer.microsoft.com. This is where you get into the Microsoft stuff better than Canva. I put, because I've been told it is better than Canva. <laughs> um, Synthesia.io AI video creations. Okay. 
TubeBuddy's my new favorite. I can turn videos into shorts for YouTube shorts, and it's a plug-in. Um, there's all sorts of things. And like guys, look, it just keeps going and going and going. Playphrase.me, it's the largest collection of video quotes from movies across the world. If you ever wonder, where did somebody get that video and post it on social media? They got it from Playphrase.me, okay? So if you ever just want to know where things come from, it's always going to be a website or an app. Scrolling down here to the bottom, there's just so many other cool things like um, Phantom Buster. You can create your own bot that can scrape the internet for lead generation info and so much more. Okay. Scaling all the way down. This is the newest ones I found. I told you, you can go into AI personal assistance and go to timehero.com. You can create your own personal assistant. See, same thing with Deep Brain and Killy.so. These are all incredible for, um, resources that you can use that are automated chat GBD type stuff. And they're incredible. Now, let me scroll down here just a little bit and just share a couple of things to you. Again, you can use it for email, scripts, outlines, articles, writing content, social media posts, fiction, writing, marketing, SEO, personal assistance, and so much more. But let me give you an idea of how to um, properly use ChatGBT or even Bing or some of these other ones. I use the CARE method prompt style, okay? CARE has an acronym and CARE, I'm just gonna click out of this so I can read it better. There we go. CARE stands for several things. It stands for character and I lost my note on how to do it. Okay, yeah, so start clearly by defining the character. Then A stands for accomplishments, if it has any accolades or if it has a background. And then you start with uh, a request. You tell it to do something for you. And then you follow up through providing specific examples and ask questions to help chat GBT understand your needs. I love this method. It's very useful. I've used it a lot recently and it seems to be one of the easiest ways to do it. But when it comes to any search engine ever, anywhere of all time, of course, you need to be specific, okay? Use simple language that ChatGPT can understand. Don't use jargon or complex sentence structures, okay? And then experiment with different prompts. That's another thing is like, if you don't like the response it gave you, try again, regenerate and find other things. All right. And then a few other things I wanted to do is there is a how to use G chat GBT tutorial here. I'm not going to go through it right now. I gave you a basic overview, but here's some great ways to do it. You know, you can use agent GBT or go to openai.com and you can start to use some of these things. Practice using it, use it over time, give it some thought. I love jumping on my laptop while I'm watching friends at night and just practicing doing little chat GPT prompts and other things. I'm actually going to go explore Bing tonight and see what I can learn from that as well, because I'm very impressed with its capabilities. And guys, just, just to kind of wrap today's meeting up and to share a few underwhelming opportunities is that no matter what you're using it for, okay, there's always going to be an incredible plug-in, an opportunity for you to learn more. Um, learn more about us and our resources. Subscribe and come into our membership and learn how to be a, uh, a member if you want to watch some of these monthly trainings. But I wanted to share one last resource with you that's going to really, really help. And I wanted to avoid sending you here just because, you know, I'm a human being. I'm a, I, I, I love sharing resources and being a valuable resource. Source. But let's just say you're just like, John, you're not my cup of tea. Ian, you're nice, but I'd rather like listen to other dad jokes. If you're feeling that way about us, which is really mean, don't ever tell us that. Um, you can always go to uh, gpte.ai. And this resource is free. You can create an account, but it is a free resource. And it basically has everything you could need when it comes to any automation tool okay it has a resource and automation tool for so many things and as i just start scrolling it has so many things and all of the things here on this one are free or free to an extent like you have certain free trials and so forth somebody in the world created this website that basically has all the automation tools and resources you can just go here and scroll at the top here i can I can search for a type of tool. Let's just say text 
to image. All right, and let's see what happens. It's going to bring up a bunch. Oh, Canva was the first one. Not sure why. Um, let's go back and find out why it just automatically assumed Canva. Oh, it's probably because I clicked Canva. All right, so I did text to image. And right here, it gives me a ton of resources. And I can just scroll through them and play around with them and all of that stuff. So again, this is a great tool and resource you can go and search if you're looking for something specific. Uh, my favorite one certain right now is is AI um, virtual virtual assistant. Okay, here's a couple great Mighty GBT, Sheldon AI, Peppertype AI, Chat Genius, which is funny because none of these were in my PDF. If you want to go to the PDF, I have three other examples that are really great. So maybe this doesn't have all the resources and John and Ian have a little bit more value than you gave us credit for. All right, there you go. I had to plug that one in, Ian. Uh, but essentially, this is a great website and tool for you. I use automation in a lot of things and I'm learning how to use it in many more things. But essentially what you can walk away today knowing, understanding, and feeling is that you've really got to understand what it is you want to use for. All right. As we're at the top of the hour, I do want to share one last thing for you. And Rachel, I'll teach more on this later, but I wanted to give you just an example of what I do with my social media. I use chat GBT, Canva, and other resources to create content for myself, all right? So I go in here and I create content. Let's say content creation distribution. Uh, I made a chat here and I got some content. Let's say I want to distribute this. I plug into a service called repurpose.io. And what repurpose allows me to do, it is allows me to focus my efforts on one channel and distribute and repurpose all my content on several other platforms. And not only is this, um, okay, I'm, I don't want to view the announcement, so I'm going to click that. <laughs> all right. So I just wanted to show you guys, my favorite social media platform is TikTok. And so when I create a TikTok, it will automatically post my TikTok with no watermarks to YouTube, YouTube Shorts, Instagram. I'm going to scroll over here and show you more. Okay, it's also going to show you that it posts to my LinkedIn, my Facebook, my Twitter. It adds a copy and puts it in my Dropbox so I can save it for later. It also posts it to Pinterest. But I have programmed any one of these platforms that when a post happens to post it back using their personal tags, YouTube back to Instagram, YouTube back to LinkedIn, YouTube back to Facebook, Twitter, Dropbox, and Pinterest. When I have a Zoom recording and I give it approval, this is not an automated one, it will automatically create a YouTube video that I can approve and post just from my YouTube recordings or my Zoom recordings. When my podcast posts every single week, it will automatically generate a TikTok, a Instagram post, a reel, uh, a, a, a YouTube video, and so much more. And I just can go on and on and on, guys. It's just, it creates so many cool things. This tool is a game changer because when I go over here, let's just say I, I want to focus on how my podcast is posting on my LinkedIn channel. I can use this and go into view content and I can actually generate new clips, meaning it's not just going to post those videos, but I can go in and I can edit certain things. For example, uh, the other day I posted the power of branding personal, uh, the power of building a personal brand. All right. There was an error here. I can go and fix that later. But if I click into this, it's going to take me to that video. All right. Look at that. Boom. And there's some audio. That's awesome. So I'm going to have to go back and fix that connection, but let's go to one that's worked. All right. Powerful resources. Boom. I'm going to click on this one. All right. So this one's just taking me here, but essentially what I can do is I can go over to my connections and uh, boom. So here's all the zoom, all the connections I've created and where they go, but I can actually create clips from my, there we go. That's what I was looking for. So I can create automatic 
templates that are created from my different uh, uh, posts. And I can tell it to make one of each of these, okay? And post it to each one. I can do a horizontal. I can do the TikTok reels and shorts. And I can do the square version as well. I can add my own little stuff here. I can do whatever the heck I want with this. But essentially, this is a powerful automation tool that has completely reamped how I do social media. Because now I don't spend all day copying and pasting over what I've already done on one platform. And instead, I focus on one platform, one audience. And then I have my audience or my platform repurpose all my content and material and post it on other places. And then I can focus on other things and save time. So the purpose of all this is to just express the importance of automation as it helps you as a tool. And if you would like a training on Bing and uh, Microsoft Edge, if you'd like a specific training on how to use chat GPT for your specific industry, your specific um, brand and whatever you're looking to do, if you're looking to use any one of these tools like repurpose.io and so many other things, please send us an email, give us a response. Let us know what we can do to train you on these as this is something that's out of the ordinary. We don't usually do these things, um, but we've done them because there's been a demand for them. And as there's many of you here in the audience today, many of you will be watching the recording. I can guarantee that. And so just looking for opportunities to serve you. But as we sort of wrap up today's meeting, I'm going to close this out by just asking you guys what questions do you have, if any? I'm going to check this chat right now. Okay, cool. So um, if you have any questions, please post them in the chat. We're going to take it after hours and discuss them. But if you have anything you would like to add or share or, or anything else, please put it in the chat right now and we'll address it and we'll bring it up. But if you have other trainings um, and things that you would like us to do to go over and so much more, I'd be more than happy to go over that. But again, you're going to have so much opportunity to learn from even a fraction of any of these things. As I bring up my PDF, where did you go? PDF, boom. As I bring up my PDF and tools, I'm going to just share briefly. Again, I'm going to take 10 at a time here, or maybe eight at a time. All right. And I'm just going to post this in the chat. Like, take a look at this. And thank you for what you said. That's awesome. Boom. There's. 10 things that you can automatically start to work on. All right. Uh, let's open up this one. Oops. I'm so, I have so many things open. I got to shut it all down. <laughs> and AI, man, AI. All right. Just closing things down. So this doesn't distract me. Where did my PDF go? That's the one thing I keep chasing. There we go. I'm going to stick it over in the corner. All right. So there's just a bunch of things that you can, Take a look at, use whatever you want to do. What was one of the sites for changing videos in shorts? Boom. Here you go, my friend. Have a ton of fun. So turning um, videos into shorts, my recommendation is TubeBuddy.com. TubeBuddy is a free website you can go to. You can create an account and it'll scrub videos from your YouTube channel and suggest how to make shorts and it'll generate those shorts for you. TubeBuddy is a great one and it's right here at the bottom of that one, okay? A um, few more tools. Let's go to, um, I'm just gonna post these last ones here in the chat. But again, if you're not in here in this meeting and you can't see the chat, first of all, you missed out. And I hope that this gives you a huge sense of FOMO. I love creating FOMO. And there we go. Boom. A lot of examples and so forth. So if anyone has any questions, please let us know. We're super excited. Thank you for that question, Willie. That's a great question. Super glad you guys could make it. I know we're at the top of the hour here, a little bit past, but I just wanted to make sure you had options. You had reasons, you had stuff. But if there's anything I ask you to do tonight, it's that to take into consideration that again, this can be scary. If you go down the rabbit hole of looking at you know, AI, world domination by robots and so much more. All right, I just lost my um, controls here. I'm gonna close that. There we go. I'm gonna go back to my apps. See, they're already ruining my, they're already, already taking over. All right. So again, uh, 
if, if anything, just don't go down the rabbit hole of getting sucked into believing and thinking that these things are going to take over and ruin our lives. They are at the command of humans. Now, there are auto generations that are currently calculated and doing things on their own. It's just happening, but it's very unlikely. And I just use these tools to help you. I mean, one of my favorite books, and I'm going to grab it. I'm going to walk off screen for just two seconds. So don't leave. Don't go anywhere. But one of my favorite books is a Tim Ferriss book called The Tools of Titans. And I've actually, I'm actually looking at two of his books right now. So let me, let me pull up these. Two great books, The Tools of the Titans, The Four-Hour Workweek. These are books that have started taking some of these ideas, some of these websites, tools, and resources to help you minimize the work and mundaneness of what you're doing and to focus on you being creative, you being awesome, you being your best self. You get, I'm trying to figure out where to put these. <laughs> and, and, and things that are going to give you... Um, resources to apply and to teach and to learn things that will help you generate what you're looking for. At the end of the day, I care so much about your dreams. And what we do at Champion Circle is we have personal development programs to help you achieve your goals. Because if you're not achieving your goals, imagine who is suffering because you're not showing up in the world, that you're not playing big. Who needs you that's to me a lot of my passing into their greatness and allowing themselves to be great so that you and i could benefit from the results of what they're doing and producing and the same thing is about you you need to step into your greatness so that you can influence and help so many other people at the end of the day automation ai artificial intelligence chat gbt bing any of these tools are tools we literally pick them up and use them. They are tools and resources for us to grab, and they can allow us to shine brighter in our own best selves so that we can influence the world. And with that, guys, I'm going to turn off the recording, end this meeting, but I'm going to stick around for a few minutes and ask, answer any questions that anyone else has. And if you're looking to more or or inquire more please send us an email to team at mychampioncircle.com also in the chat section below and uh before we end this ian i just wanted to let you know again the robots the robots they are taking i'm just having way too much fun with this the robots are taking over and uh you know I, i'm gonna bite i'm gonna eat them Anyways, i just want to say thank you guys for joining us this has been a virtual training workshop by champion circle please join us go to mychampioncircle.com learn more about our upcoming events and anything else we've got going on we love you we appreciate you we're here to help and we're growing a community of achievers people who actually care about helping one another overcome their greatest challenges and to build their business so that everyone in this world can be influenced in a, in, in, in a positive way and uh that's it guys i'm john kovach jr you heard from ian Sturmer. you're also going to learn from many of us as you continue to subscribe to many of our channels and inquire more about the packages that we offer all right we'll see you next time thanks